I have uh, four posts, so in this video I want to add pagination to my project. From models import post and um, post query object. And uh, we can see that the post variable is an object of the base query class. And uh, the base query class has the paginate method. This one. And the paginate method will slice a base query object to pages with a certain quantity of posts. For example, pages equals to post paginate pages is the pagination class object the pagination class has all properties and methods that i will use for pagination bar has next has previous items either pages next next num etc and these are the attributes I will use to make a pagination bar. I want to use the bootstrap layout for my pagination bar. So I need to get bootstrap.com. And I like this form. Yep. Copy and I need post HTML. So somewhere here before end block, I want to paste this pagination. And I want to clean up this form. It's not necessary. Okay. And now I want to fill this form and I'll do it in the post list function. And by default, I have only one page that's rendered to a user. But if the request object will have the page number in its get parameters, I want to get this page number to display to a user all posts on this page. I'm creating a new page variable and I want to get its value from the request args dictionary page. If the get parameters include the page parameter, I want to get its value. For example, localhost 5000 blog question mark page equals to something. All data followed after the question mark are parameters of a GET request and they are included to the args dictionary of the request object. And uh, the value of the page parameter is the string because all data in an address bar are strings and also a user can input here something like letters instead of digits. And uh, so I have to check whether the page variable is digit or not. If page and uh, page is digit, then if it's not empty and if it's a digit, I want to convert it to integer data type. Int page. Otherwise, page will be one, the first page. And I want to slice all posts base query objects to pages. So I'm creating the pages variable that equals to posts variable, all posts. And then I'm calling the paginate method. And the paginate methods takes 
two required arguments. The first argument is a number of a page to display to a user. It will be the page variable. This one or any other. And uh, the second argument is the quantity of posts per page. I have only four posts, so I want to have one post per page. Then I want to pass this pages variable to the post HTML. Pages equals to pages. Then in the posts HTML, in the for loop for posts in and uh, instead of the posts variable I want to use the pages variable and its items property. We can test it and we can see that the page content is changing. I've got the first post. Let's add and get parameter page equals to 2 and I can see the second page. Okay. First page again. Okay, it works. And now I want to bind the pagination bar with my view. So I need to define the CSS class for previous and the next buttons. Previous and uh, the next. If there is no previous or next pages, it should have the disabled class, like here, like now. Also, I need links to pages. So here I want to define if block. If and uh, here and if and if. The condition if not pages has pref the list item gets the disabled class. Let's test it. Disabled. Okay. The same I want to use for the next button. I need to add disable class to the list item tag and for the next button it, sh it should be has next property page number four and uh, it works okay then I have to change the href attribute for the previous button and for the next button, it will be partly hard coded link. It will get the page parameter. And then I have to use here the number of the page. So the pages pref num property and the same for the next next num. F5. We can see that it's working. Okay. Dot means relative link. And the next step is the pages links in the middle of the pagination bar. So I have to use here a for loop again for for page in pages. And I need iterator iter pages. And uh, inside of this for loop, I have to use list item tag. And then a list item gets the active CSS class if the number of the current page matches to the page in the pages pagination object this one. It will be another if. If 
page this variable equals to pages page then it will be active then href will be relative link question mark page equals to page and here just page let's test it f5 okay i can delete this list items okay it's working so if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching